In this short video, we're going to talk about RootsMagic's Gazetteer function. Now, the Gazetteer is a place lookup uh, which is world based. It has 3 million plus places in it, and you can just type in a name, and RootsMagic will show you the places in the world with that name. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to go to Tools menu, and the Gazetteer is right here under the Tools menu. And all I have to do is start typing in the name of a place. So let's just go ahead and type in Santa Fe. And Roots Magic's Gazetteer is going to list all of the Santa Fe's. You can see these are all over the world. They're in Argentina and Mexico, Philippines, and so on. Of course, you have uh, all the ones in the, in the U.S. as well. Um, as you scroll down, you'll notice they have this score, and they've all got a full bar. That's because they all say Santa Fe. They all match what I've typed so far. As I scroll down farther, you're going to see I'm getting into ones that are just Santa or just Fay, uh, that are only partial matches. You're also going to see uh, places that may not even look like they match. That's because they may have been known as this name as an alternate name as well. So I can go ahead and filter this a little further. So let's say I'm interested in Santa Fe in Argentina. So I type that and it's going to filter this down so that the highest scores are what match what I have so far. Santa Fe Argentina or Santa Fe Santa Fe Argentina. Those are both perfect matches so far for what I've typed because they have everything in there. Argentina only half matches because it doesn't have Santa Fe and Santa Fe here of course only half matches because it doesn't have Argentina. Now you'll notice that there are that this will bring up just countries. If all I typed in is Argentina, it will bring up the country. Uh, if it, but I can go down to a county level or a state level or a city level, um, you know, any of those types of levels. Now, there's several options that you have available when you select a place. One is the online map, one's copy to clipboard. Let's say I wanted to see where this Santa Fe, Santa Fe, Argentina is. I'm just going to highlight it click on online map and it's going to bring up a Bing map uh, showing me where Santa Fe Argentina is and of course I can you know zoom out so that I can see where in Argentina it actually happens to be or I can zoom in to see more detail I have all the various features that are available in Bing the satellite imagery um, you know and all of those things so you can just play around with that um, the point of, on this video is that you can select a place you found in the Gazetteer and go to the online map. Um, now, of course, it, it, like I say, this is world-based, but you can find places that are pretty tiny. So let's say we wanted to know where Monkey's Eyebrow was. So I'm just going to type in Monkey's Eyebrow, and there it is. It's in Ballard County, Kentucky. And again, I can jump to the online map, and it'll take me right into Monkey's Eyebrow, Kentucky. So if I want to see where that is in Kentucky, I can zoom out and I can see it's right there at that tip, on the western tip of Kentucky. So, uh, like I say, if, if you aren't limited to just great big cities, you aren't limited to just U.S. cities, um, you will be able to, you know, find a lot of stuff. Now, if you spell something wrong, um, it, that may not show up in the Gazetteer, so you know try to make sure you spell it right. Uh, the Gazetteer is great at looking uh, places up; it's not great at correcting spelling. Okay, let's look at another place here. I'm going to type in Springfield. I just decided to pick a name that I knew was very common, and so I'm going to type in Springfield, and you can see that pretty much every country uh, in the world has decided to use that name, and basically just about every single state has as well. Um, let's say I want to limit that a little bit farther. If I wanted to limit it to Springfield, Virginia, I just type in Springfield, comma. I can spell out Virginia or I can leave it as VA. It, uh, the Gazetteer does understand a lot of the abbreviations. And you'll notice that um, even, even states, uh, you know, may have multiple cities of the same name in each county. Uh, so, uh, you know, beware of that. If somebody says they were born in Springfield, Virginia, you still don't know where they were born because it could be in any one of these about six or seven different counties. 
Okay, let's go ahead and copy one of these. I'm going to take Springfield in Fairfax County and I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. And that's all it basically does is it takes that place name and copies it to the clipboard. So I've clicked it. That place name in that format is now on the clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and show you why that's useful. I can go into edit a person um, and I'm just going to go into their birth field where I don't have the place but I happen to know that it was uh, in Springfield. So I went to the Gazetteer, found it, and now that I'm on the place field, I can either press Control V, like Victor, which is the paste, that's the shortcut for paste, or I can right click and type paste, and it will paste that place in. Okay, so that's what the copy to clipboard is useful for. Now, I don't have to actually go out to the Gazetteer uh, if I'm doing this, let's say the death as well was in the same place. Well, when I highlight that, I can come over here and there's a, on the place there's a little magnifying glass. And when I click on that magnifying glass, that brings up the gazetteer right from inside of the edit screen. So I don't have to go out separately. So I could come in here and type in Springfield, Virginia. And I can say, okay, there's the one I want. And you'll notice that the button, instead of saying paste to clipboard, it just says paste to place. So when I click that, it actually just closes this and puts the, the place in there for me. It takes care, of, takes care of all of that. Now, one other feature uh, that's really nice about the Gazetteer is in a situation like this. Let's say you have a burial in a place, Avon, Iowa, and you don't happen to know off the top of your head what county that's in. Well, when you highlight that place and come up here, you can see that place is in the place field for the burial. Well, if I click on the Gazetteer and there's a place already in there, it pre-populates this. I don't have to go in and type Avon, comma, Iowa. It already pre-populates it, and there's the one I want right there. And so now I know what county and the state and the country, and I can say paste to place, and it will update the place for me. So the Gazetteer is great for looking up places, it's great for copying places to the clipboard, and it's great for finding counties uh, of places that you weren't familiar with. And that is how uh, the Gazetteer feature in Roots Magic works.